All right, guys. So today has been such a fun day. It's now time to bring little Brittany home. Now this will be an epic adventure because the dogs. We're gonna see how she reacts to the dogs and how our other dogs react to her. Let's do this, Mabu High Squad. This should be interesting. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Yay, she is the puppy pet. Awesome, gave her a treat. I've seen that she's very food driven, this, this dog. So before going home, we also dropped by the groomers, had her showered, cut the nails, what else? Ears. Clean the, clean ears. the ears, yeah. Tick and flea. Tick and flea medicine. It's perfect. You're gonna love your new brothers and sisters. And she is so lovable, guys. She is so gentle and like, such a sweetheart, look. For those of you who are just joining us, welcome to the vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos, this is RJ Garcia. Um, we are heading home from picking up dog number four. This is our fourth dog. The magic number is eight. I'm just kidding. Um, but this dog, if you didn't see yesterday's vlog, was part of a two for one. So Rizal over here, our, where is he? Our giant poodle back there. The breeder says, if you take Rizal, we'll give you a free Sholo Eats Quintly. That's the name of this breed of dog, guys. It's an ancient breed of hairless dog that evolved in the forests, the jungles of Mexico. Crazy, right? It's a 3,000 year old dog that go, dates back to the Mayan. So we picked it up today and now we're heading home uh, and we're making the introduction to, well, her new pack. Now, just as a background or two, we were surprised to discover today that she was the only dog in her litter. Crazy, right? Um, so she was the only dog born, had no siblings, poor one, couldn't play with any other puppies. Um, and we also learned that she was removed from the mother at one month. So um, it's really interesting. So far, she seems really good with Rizal. And Rizal seems really good with her as well. Uh, but. I think she'll really enjoy living with us and living with our other two dogs and our cousin's two dogs. So that should be really fun. I can't wait. I really hope. Actually, the one I'm worried about is Cypher because Cypher was our quarantine dog, guys. We bought him during the lockdown and he grew up not with any other dogs as well. And so he wasn't socialized. He barks at other dogs. Uh, so. I'm just gonna watch Cypher the most, but I think they'll get along. Yeah. Do you like her? Yeah. Guys, we, we're She's in love. Adorable. RJ is so in love. He was that's like. That's why we got her, right? That's why we got her. RJ was like, I think this is our cutest dog. And I'm like, even cuter than Cypher? And he said, yes. <laughs> Cypher. I think you're cute, Cypher. And they're all cute. You too, Rizalzis, you're cute. This one is unique, right? Yeah, you're unique. Like literally, guys, the dog is hairless. It smells good. It smells good. And also, like, if you look carefully, like, he's got, like, little pores. She has pores. Like, you could see the little pores of her skin. She really is an interesting dog. I've never heard of this breed before until Mario, her breeder, introduced it to us. And guys, we've been keeping this secret for so long, for like a year. And finally, after one year of waiting, you're coming home with us. We actually made the deal before she was born. And guys, you know what her name is? It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> I'm allowed to say that, right? Because, you know, she is a bitch. Female dogs are called bitches. It's Brittany, bitch. Mm -hmm. Brittany, our bitch. And guys, she loves RJ. <laughs> You're gonna live like a princess with us. <laughs> but guys, she loves me too, okay? She fell asleep in my arms. Guys, I can't imagine a puppy not growing up with other siblings to play with. For those of you who are dog people, you guys know puppies are... Like, playing is all they do. They play, eat, poop, pee, and sleep. And then they repeat the cycle. Um, so this poor one didn't get to play. Uh, not anymore! Not anymore, yeah, you got lots of dogs to play with now. Okay guys, we're home. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get her. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're home, Rizal. Come on. 
Yes, this is our home, Brittany. Yes, Brittany. Oh, here comes Edmark. Hi, Brittany. Yes, there's Edmark. Hi, Brittany. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Yes. There's Cypher right, and right, Sahara. Right, right. Ate Elsie and Nika. This is Brittany. <laughs> the dogs are like, who is this? Okay, let's go on the couch. How about we go on the couch first? Let's introduce on the couch. Go. That's your new sister. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. That's Brittany. That's Brittany. Oh, they're all smelling her. That's Brittany. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's scared. It's okay, don't be scared. She's putting her, her head in between my legs. Okay. We're right here. These are your friends. She's the only puppy in her litter. Oh my so, so she so never grew up with anybody. Wow. That's why she's like kind of scared right now. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, here, RJ, so, um, comfort her. <laughs> she loves RJ. Is that, is I'm glad the other dogs are like positive. Reaction. Very happy to welcome them. Yeah. And Rizal was so behaved today. OMG, Cypher, you're good. Cypher's not barking or showing any aggression or anything. This is Brittany. It's Brittany. This is Brittany. Oh, she, and his tail is wagging. I told you. Brittany. This is Brittany. They know she's a puppy. Oh, she jumped off the couch. You can go wander around. Yes, go. This is your new home. Go, 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 go. Go we'll play. We'll play. Oh, I feel like they're playing now. Oh, oh she's so happy. She's so happy. She's playing. Go play. Oh, she's playing, guys. She is so happy. Yay, go play. Go play. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sahara is so, so excited. Go coax. Yeah, that's your new... Yes, that's your new sis. You look alike. <laughs> Guys, this is a success. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rizal. Cypher is getting a little nervous now. Go play, go play. <laughs> oh, here's mom. Mom. Mom wants to inspect. Yes. <laughs> Oh, she's even happy. Cypher's intrigued. It's your sister. Yeah, so you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> Guys, she is running around. Yeah, she kind of looks like Sahara with no fur. This is Sahara, by the way. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, at least they get along. Guys, she's being smothered. <laughs> you happy? Welcome to the pack. Welcome to the family. So this is the setup for now. First of all, she loves the crate. We have to get her a bigger one. We thought that Cypher and Sahara's was big enough, but she's gonna outgrow. She loves it already. She sleeps inside, but she's gonna outgrow that real quick. But we've created a mini pen for her because she can't go outside yet. You know, the whole the whole parvo thing, which we went through with Rizal. Even though he did have all of his parvo shots, he still got it and it was really rough. We don't want that with her. She will get her parvo shots, but it'll be over the next few weeks. Um, so this will be her temporary living area. She can pee here and we will give her liberty to run around the first floor. We'll just close the doors. She can play with the other dogs, but we just want her to get to learn to pee and poo here on the puppy bed. And the other dogs are already peeing here, as you can see. <laughs> they love this corner, so this is the pee corner for the dogs when they can't go outside. Guys, look at what we discovered she could do. Watch this. Come on, Brittany. Show us what you just did. <laughs> the dogs love playing with her. And guys, she pooed. She pooed on the puppy pad. Sorry, I didn't vlog, but we were all so excited. She already learned to poop on the puppy pad. Watch, 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 watch. Whoa! She's a climber! All right! And the other dogs are left behind. Can you climb? 
All right, because she pooed, she can now run around supervised. We just have to watch and make sure she doesn't pee or poo anywhere else except for there. Brittany, all these toys are for you as well. Feel free to play, pick, yep. Oh, and there she goes. Oh, can she know how, can she learn how to climb stairs? Do you know how to go upstairs? The dogs will teach you. Miranda loves to play with her. We're surprised at this. <laughs> Cypher's like, I'd rather just sit here. I don't want to play. You tired? Yeah. Yeah, that's your new sister, okay? What's that mommy? Brittany, this is your new pack. Yes. <laughs> they can't leave her alone, guys. This is the sisterhood right there. And the giant. <laughs> Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? So, guys, learned so much overnight reading about Sholos and RJ has been reading to me like articles and stuff about them. Morning, Brittany. Yes, good morning. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. She's eating right now. We have to buy a new fence because she can climb this, which apparently Sholos can do. They're climbers. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. She's pooing. Good girl! Good girl, yes! Very good girl! Gonna let her play a little bit. Cypher's still sleeping, and Coco's still sleeping, so is Miranda. What's up, Elsie? Yes. Alright, guys, so let's talk Sholos. So I'm extremely happy. Mm, so proud of you, Brittany, for pooing on the puppy pad. She also peed, but slightly off the puppy pad, but I quickly grabbed her and I said, no. Put her on the puppy pad, then rewarded her. The reason why I'm happy about this, guys, is because these Sholos are so primitive. Like, they're an ancient breed of dog, right? Over 3,000 years old. They tend to be difficult to housebreak. And I literally just learned this this morning when RJ read, read me an article from National Geographic on these special dogs. Mm. It's so weird. She's so warm, guys. Like. She's warmer than I thought. But yeah, so um, the heart to house break. Also, the gene mutation that is responsible for them having no hair is also responsible for them lacking premolars. Isn't that crazy? I did notice she was missing a few teeth here towards the middle back of her mouth. But these dogs are very super intelligent. They're not so obedient. They really have an independent mind of their own. They're like primitive dogs. And another thing too is, they have kind of like webbed feet that allow them to be partially prehensile. Like they can handle stuff with their paws. And it also makes them great climbers. They're awesome um, problem solvers. And I can tell the intelligence on this dog is slightly different from my other dogs. Um, just watching them play last night on the bed. So uh, she slept in a crate. She loves her crate, which is Cypher's old crate. And she slept the whole night. Didn't cry or anything to be let to the potty. She just held her pee and poo. And uh, just this morning, I took her down. She eliminated and now she can go play. Yeah, good. She's great. Now, in terms of my other dogs, they were all generally okay. Um, Rizal is totally okay with her here. Sahara loved playing with her last night, but the moment we went to the room and the dogs saw she was sleeping with us, I think that's when the dogs were like, okay, something's wrong. <laughs> what is she doing here? Like, I think they just thought she was a visitor. Um, and so uh, I think Cypher took it the most personal. All right, she ran back. She wants to go eat. Um, but yeah, Cypher took it the most personal and he literally went to the foot of the bed with his back to all of us, just like this. And we had to like comfort uh, Cypher. He's a little insecure. Um, and I think he was okay through the night. Um, but he was most upset and I think angry at RJ <laughs> because, 
Because RJ, what it, RJ and Cypher are like this, right? And all of a sudden there's this new dog. RJ's really showing a lot of love to this new dog. Cypher can feel this energy and he is not okay with it. At one point, Cypher came to me and I had to hug him and kiss him and comfort him and be like, it's okay, you know, we love you. Our family is growing. This is Brittany. She's our new family now. But I think they will be okay. Cypher was also like this when we first took home Sahara, Cypher's sister, and when we first took home Rizal. Cypher will get over it. Cypher's sleeping and, and cuddling with RJ right now. <sighs> Um, but it's so interesting to see the dynamics change when a new dog comes into the picture. Um, I am going to be super duper, not strict, because these dogs don't do well with negative reinforcement or like shouting or anything like that. It's all, it's like positive reinforcement should be the base of the discipline. So I'm gonna really, really put extra juice in trying to make sure that Brittany gets housebroken because I don't want her to be like the other Sholos who don't ever get housebroken because apparently this is a thing. Again, because they are such primitive dogs, it's hard to housebreak them. We could do this, Mabuhai squad, we got this. Look at her following Rizal around. So another thing about these Sholos is that I found interesting is that unlike other dogs, these dogs actually sweat <coughs> through their skin. Like, you know how most dogs to <coughs> cool off? They pant. Hey, Sahara, no barking. Well, these dogs sweat like like humans, even in their armpits. Come on, go out. She's gonna play with the dogs now. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. They're like humans. They also apparently need sunscreen. Like if they're exposed to the sun for extended periods of time, they need sunscreen. Okay, Rizal, be gentle. <laughs> Okay guys, she's following me around. <laughs> Are you a shadow? Huh? We should have called you shadow. And as part of her education and socialization, she is coming with us on our very important road trip where we're going now. She's learning so much guys, it's crazy. Aw, she's so sleepy. <laughs> She's loving this love. That's right, Mabuhai squad. So we are now heading somewhere important. It's three hours away. And um, it's very important, this trip, because we're going to be shopping for something very important for our house. Yes, and we can't wait to take all of you guys along on this adventure. Let's do this.